Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys, and I'm so freaking excited. So it is the night after Christmas, and just as I thought, went by Barnes & Noble, three of the regular boxes in this huge cup box. There might just be cups in there. I'm not sure. It doesn't sound like it. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you also tap that little notification bell so you can be the first one notified when we upload new videos. But anyway, let's get into it. So, I want to start with the cup box because I'm kind of curious. I've never seen these before. I actually brought a knife and this time the tape's open for me. Let's see what we got in here. Nope, no cups. It's all stuff. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, Christmas return. So, right off the bat. And I probably just broke something. <laughs> Hold on. So, right here, I didn't really break it, but we have a deluxe market set, which looks like just a toy for a little kid. And as far as I can see, it looks like everything is sealed. So it's probably just a damaged out box or a return or something like that. So 40 bucks for the set. That is a good start. Especially because I honestly thought this was going to be full of cups. Well, opened. You don't say. It's empty. <laughs> well, did it fall out in there? I think it did. Oh, somebody... A gummy candy lab. So what is this supposed to be? I'm guessing this is what you make the gummies out of. But the powder or something like that inside maybe? I don't know. We'll get to it. But right here we have a uh, Gouda. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that and embarrass myself. But we have that. Whatever the figure is, is unopened. So that's definitely awesome too. It's a $14 egg. So if anyone knows what this is, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. But whatever it is, is unopened. So that's pretty good. Let's set that aside too. What is this? Ooh. A broken handle. Oh, they're actually telling the truth for once. But still, why does that make a difference? Like, why is that going to affect anyone? You think they're going to put this on a lap and be like, oh man, look at that. I can't use it now. It's still going to work the same exact way it would work anyway. So I'm still happy with this thing. And it's really comfy. It's actually really soft too and nice smooth plastic on it. So that's good. What else we got? A little house thing with stuffed animals. And I thought it was about to be Snoopy because I saw the house, but... Twitter bird it looks like and a whole bunch of little stuffed animals a rabbit a dog a bird and a cat Again, it's a little kids toy here. It looks like that's all it comes with and it velcros back or something I just like looking at prices because I'm curious about it 23 bucks for that and it looks like it's in perfect condition Let's see what this big box is Ooh, Disney Pixar cars Lego set so let's see if it's been open. No, nope, that side is sealed. This side is also sealed. Why is, oh, look at that right in the middle of the box. There's a hole in the box. But as you can see, the plastic is still sealed. This is a brand new sealed leg, or Lego kit for 50 bucks. Thrown away because of a hole in the box. Crazy. What do we got here? We got a Roman city grid. Is this some type of puzzle maybe? True genius, so I'm assuming so. It's only 10 bucks, but it looks like some type of handheld puzzle or something similar, so that's pretty cool. What else? Ooh, let's see Pokemon. Come here. Come here, Daddy. Oh, yes. Yes. This is ripped. But look at this. It's got Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. That is sick right there. This is not being sold. I'm going to open this up. I'm actually finishing up the game room. You guys remember all the cases on the wall. We're cleaning the closet, moving the boxes, and finally turning it into the game room I've been wanting it to be. So, this is definitely going in there. I'm going to open it and take all the little guys out and put it on there. Is that like a new transformation? for you? I don't watch the newer Pokemon. I watch the older ones. I know those three. I don't remember that. So, that's a new evolution maybe? Somebody let me know. But heck yeah. That's like the best find so far. We got a, a pen and bookmark. Where's the pen? It was swords. Are the swords pens? They're opened. Oh, they are. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. Imagine taking this to school. I don't know if you get away with that. I don't know if you get away with that. It's still a pen. That's cool. Right here we got... Looks like Crayola or a Crayola ripoff. No, it is a Crayola. Crayola Kid Robot. It looks like a mystery box type thing, too, for $10. And again... It's sealed, just a pretty smushed box, so that's why that one's in the trash. Oh, I love Barnes & Noble. Their trash can's so fun. Right here we have, let's see, this cup. Is there something wrong with it? 
There's a sticky note. What's it say? Damaged. All right, let's find the damage together, guys. Um, no damage. Maybe that? Are you talking about the wrapper or the plastic around it's damaged? Maybe. Other than that, perfect condition. I can't open. Um, oh, is it supposed to open? Uh, not too sure. Not too sure what it's supposed to do, but it's definitely a little kid's toy. Maybe the head's supposed to open. It's supposed to be something inside of there. I'm not sure. But the note did say I can't open, but I'll try to figure it out later. Ooh, more Legos. So here, here we got a Star Wars Lego set. This one's only 10 bucks again. Ooh, also the $25 price tag on it. I'm not sure. But again, it's completely sealed, just a damage box. They throw a ton of stuff out because of damage boxes. Like, it's honestly ridiculous. What is it? Oh, there's the gummy set thing I was looking for earlier. Right there, there's all the powders you need and some sugar. Straight packet of diabetes here if you want to make gummy bears. That's pretty cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, please be in there. Please be in there. Guys, please. Oh, defective toggle doesn't work. I don't care. I'm going to use it as a display piece. Let's see it. Look at that. A mini Pac-Man. Doesn't work, my you-know-what. It works fine. What are they talking about doesn't work? That is sick. Two things I'm actually really happy about in this box that I'm going to keep for myself, 100%. All right, this is, I'm not sure, super squishy something. Let's see. My Little Pony. Woo! I think I know somebody that might want that. You know who you are. Because <laughs> I don't collect their stuff. Um, let's see. Some stickers, trash, and lastly, we got, it looks like a box of envelopes or something. No, it's stencils for your letters. Alright, I guess they threw it away because it looks like that's supposed to be the A, but it is damaged, so they threw the whole thing away. What an awesome start. I thought that box was going to be cups, but anyway, let's get into the next box. Got my trusty dusty butterfly knife. Why did I just say that? So you guys are watching Speedy Diver before I start my videos. And he's got me saying stuff from his old videos. Alright. Where did it not cut at? Okay. Ooh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, mine. I see a Mario cube right off the bat with a mystery figure in it. You know what? I'm not going to open it now. I'm going to add it. Got a bunch. I just bought a bunch of mystery figures. I'm going to open it up with another video with some of the money I got for Christmas. So... That's going to be added to that pile. This game is brand new. Look at this. The box is definitely damaged, obviously. There's a hole in it, but the plastic is still sealed. I bet you this is an expensive game. 50 bucks. Betrayal at House on the Hill. If anyone's played that, let me know how fun that is. That's cool. Dead battery. So you throw it away? Seriously? At least you're better. At least you actually mark it as dead battery. If I below it just says, boop, it's broken. It must be broken. Let's throw it away. But we got a little kid's book called I Like to Squeak. How do you speak? <laughs> Let's see. Empty box. Well, somebody was a stealth thief in there. Yeah, this is legitly an empty box. Imagine how mad you'd be if you bought this and you got home. And it's just an empty box. Wow, somebody is not nice. They literally took it up, everything out of there without even being noticed. Smart thief. We got... Milk and Honey, a New York Times bestseller. I am not a reader, so I have no idea what kind of book that is at all. Right here we got a, ooh, a pocket charging kit, but it doesn't look like it's in there. Let's see. Because I would actually use that a lot. My phone dies a lot when I'm out dumpster diving, so. No, there's nothing in here, unfortunately. That's trash. I'm going to throw it in here. Defective missing a ball. Let's see. Oh, it's a little kid's toy. It's got a $30 price tag on it. It might be missing one of a ball, but I've seen these little tiny balls in dumpsters before, so I could probably find one if that's all it's missing. That's another cool little xylophone toy. All right. Wooly something simple chords. Uh, looks like a guitar book or, yeah, a book to teach you your guitar notes. That's pretty cool, I guess. Not my thing, but it's cool. <laughs> a unicorn that's in perfect condition. Again, just a damaged package. It's crazy how much they throw out. I know they're a big business, but seriously, they throw out so much because of them. LOL, surprise for four bucks. What is this? It's heavy. It's like surprisingly heavy for its size. So, not sure what you do. Oh, you dunk it in water. Oh, you put it in the water and it turns into something. That's kind of cool, actually. 
Um, I think that might have been what it went in the box. Another one of these things, Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. I know this guy. I don't know many people. What is it? It looks like it's supposed to open. Is it like a... Well, I just ripped the keychain out. <laughs> but it just screws back in. I'll put his tail back in later. But, again, another really good box. Another really good box. Ugh. Let's get into this one. Where's my knife? There we go. Alright. You know, I really should cut these before video, but for me, when I watch other people's dumpster diving videos and they go through boxes and bags, like, getting into it and opening it is like a thrill, so that's why I don't do it. If you guys think I should, let me know, but that's the reason, my personal reason why I don't. Let's see what this is. Classic Dave Barry, uh, America's Pulitzer Prize winning humorist. It's a 2018 calendar. I have no idea who you are, but it's a new calendar. At least it's 2018. I find a lot of old ones that are kind of worthless now. Uh, cars, trash, more cars, trash, a Star Wars Hot Wheel right there, and just a damaged box at the top. That's pretty cool. Here's a long sticky note on this thing. Something, something dried towards the bottom of the rod, and it's pretty sharp. Um, I don't see anything pretty sharp. I mean, it's literally all round. What can be sharp on this stick? Oh, this maybe? I don't know, it looks like glue to me. You know what, I'm going to make some room. Go through that later. We always get one of these when we find boxes from Barnes & Noble. This time it's Finding Dory book. All the characters look to be there. I'll check them to make sure, of course. And yeah, if you don't know what these are from my other videos, they just have a bunch of stories in here. And they have all the characters that are in the story in the box at the end. So that's cool. A Dumb Ways to Die, an empty figurine, and songbook. <laughs> that is weird. Um whatever that says something Olaf the Viking book here the book looks to be in perfect shape don't know if it's any good or anything but it's there what is that care bear now another unicorn like it looks like cat dog you guys remember cat dog that's what his body looks like it's a pen a unicorn pen weird all right let's see what we got here hot chocolate yay with a sad face some of their sticky notes man their sticky notes are like oh look I think it's spilled on it Look at the top. It looks like some hot chocolate might have spilled on it. You know what? That's trash. These pages are stuck together. That's no good, unfortunately. Oh, I see Abraham Lincoln here making up all the weight. Listen how heavy that is. That is a heavy box. Just scared my cat. <laughs> but a giant book with Abraham Lincoln. Not really sure what it is. But if it's a history type book, I might actually look into it. I'm actually one of the few people that enjoyed history class in school. So I might keep that. What is this? Come here. <gasps> yes! I actually said so many times I wanted to play this, but I've never bought it before. It is heavy to look at that. It's definitely, definitely dirty. So it's not new. It's got some problems, but I've never got to play this. And now I'm going to get to play it. This is not being sold. This is actually like one of my favorite Barnes & Noble dives so far. A lot of things that I actually keep. A lot of times I don't know what a lot of this stuff is, and I just kind of sell and give it away. But... Quite a few things tonight that I'm really happy with. Uh, what is this? Not sure. It's empty though. Oh, there's the car figure from earlier. There's a little car Hot Wheel right there. And there's another one. I've seen the very first cars when it first came out. I remember nothing about it besides the main character was Lightning McQueen. That's it. Uh, ripped gift bag. Another book here. Damaged. Let's see. The Invisible String. Um, let's see if there's any real damage in it. It's actually a little wet, it feels like. But, I don't see any damage. So, it'll dry. Still a good book. People like to read. It's a good book. We donate most of our books anyway. Damaged. NR signed. NR signed. Is it signed by the author or something? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, not sure, not sure. Oh, look at the end. I think somebody like used this for class and they like annotated it part of the book and then returned it to Barnes and Noble. It literally looks like an annotated book. Alright, right here we got spade ooh and spades too. One of the decks are missing, but spades is fun. You know my whole life I just recently learned how to play spades like the last year and I'm twenty three. But spades is pretty fun and this this deck's sealed. 
We got two books here. Moo. It looks like just a peek in yeah, a little kid's book right there. It's actually kind of cool. I used to like these when I was in kindergarten. I remember these books. <laughs> um, this one's the spine is smashed. But it looks like another pop-up type book. Oh, you actually pull it. And you see, oh, look. That's what the monster looks like in the dark. That's what it really is. <laughs> I see sealed puzzles. We get a lot of puzzles from Barnes & Noble, too. This one's a thousand-piece puzzle right here. Still sealed. For $16, not bad, not bad at all. Damaged. Okay, seriously, this will get to my nerves. Damaged. How is this thing? Oh, a damaged box. But the puzzle's fine. The puzzle's fine. Like, somebody's gonna go there and be like, I want this puzzle so bad. Oh, I can't have that one. There's a little hole in the box. So that's gonna make a big difference about the pieces. Not at all. These things are fine. If you can't sell them full price, make a donation bin or something like that. Discount rack, just something. The waste is annoying, but. At the same time, I love it because I will keep rescuing it. Let's go through the last box here. Whoop! Slash down the middle. All right. Last one. Ooh, I see Scrabble. All right, let's get into it. Missing cards. Well, honestly, Christmas is passed anyway, so there's no point in me holding onto a little pack of Christmas cards. Hug a panda kit. Please cuddle me. <laughs> what comes with it? A panda? Well, again, it looks like just a damaged box. We got... Ooh, Scrabble. A hard, like a hard wooden set of Scrabble. Let's see if it all looks like it's there, at least. I like Scrabble. It's one of my favorite board games. It's freaking brand new, man. Look at this. Hold on. Let me check it, because I actually will keep this. Where's the letters? Oh, there's the bag. All the letters are... Unopened. This is a brand new, like hardened edition of Scrabble. I don't want. To, I was about to say steel book. I played too many video games. It's still a very nice Scrabble game. You know what? I'll close it later. Um, we got some trash here. Come here. Look at that. That I don't even see nothing wrong with this one at all. This looks like it's in perfect condition. I guess that little bit of damage at the top of the box, but. This is a $30 Avengers Captain America action skin, superpower robotics. Not too sure what it does, but it looks like it's absolutely in perfect condition. We have two of these little pacifiers here. Looks like they have a pacifier, the stuffed animal attached to it. 15 bucks a piece, but a lot of baby stuff we just throw in donation bins because there's people that need it. Um, damaged. Yeah, I doubt it. What is this unicorn thing? It looks like, okay, he's not, there's supposed to be mystery figures, but this one's out of the box, so. It looks like a pink and purple unicorn. Pete's 52 magnets. That sounds interesting, actually. It's mashable and smashable and buildable, adult fun. Cool, I don't have to feel like an immature kid. It says adult on it, yes! <laughs> Alright, we got a mess-free coloring kit here. You can see the thing's a little damaged, but the markers and the coloring pages in there are fine. Awesome. What is this? Deluxe holiday cards. Again, they're damaged and open. There's no point of keeping these. Christmas is already passed. I'm not going to store an open box of Christmas cards away for like another year. Well, whatever this is, is right here. What is this supposed to be? A handcrafted leather dice cup. Oh, you roll dice in it. Alright, weird. I guess I'll keep the box just because I'm going to forget what it is if I don't. It looks weird. Right, let's see what this is. Oh, man, we know what it is at least. It's a building code dazzling lights. Uh, let's see. What's damaged about it? It looks... Oh, no, it's opened. Okay. Let's see what it is. The box actually pops open. All right. Make a pixel kit. Let's see. Ooh, it's like actual circuits and stuff. So this is for older kids, not a little kid toy, like I thought. Uh, don't see a price though on it, but it does. It can't be cheap. It can't be cheap, that's for sure. All right, here we got some Japanese figure here. Thirty bucks for that? That is insane, right there. But we got that. Uh, another dice cup with another really destroyed box. Let me put the top back on it though, so that doesn't get lost. Look at my cat here, just already, just, just put the stuff down, he's already on the box scratching himself. They just take over, man, they take over. A memory lane, 300 piece puzzle. Watch out, there's gum, gross. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this sticky note over it and I'll just scrape it off with a knife. And it's good as new. 
Dice Cup Trash. Let's see what this is. Thomas Kindle. This is heavy. What is this? This is a bunch of puzzles in one, maybe? Uh, let's see. Collector's Edition 300. He had eight jigsaw puzzles. I guess he's, he's an artist, so... Thomas Kincaid. Okay. I've read that wrong. I've heard of that name. Thomas Kincaid. There's eight different puzzles here. I guess these are all his pieces of art, and you can make the puzzle together, so... Eight different ones in one box. I've never seen that before. What is this? Harry Potter's collecting... Missing... Somebody. It's probably figures and one's missing. Oh, look. There's a Harry Potter wand. Look at that. I don't really know what's missing from it, but... It looks to be there to me. Wow, this has been an awesome night. I knew I was just had a feeling it was gonna be like this. Another one of these little books with the, all the figures at the end. The plastic's just completely gone from this one, but as you can see, all the figures are there. What is this one? My busy book. I don't really know the name of like any Disney movies. I really never watched them. Um, that is trash, trash, and that is trash. But holy crap, guys, I knew the day after Christmas was going to be amazing. I did not think it was going to be this amazing. What an epic night at Barnes & Noble. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. And make sure you also hit that little notification bell so you can be the first one notified when we upload new videos. Once again, thank you guys so much. And until next time, peace out.